So for this question, I'm going to explain and take a deeper dive into the theory of um, utilitarianism. And basically, the easiest way to explain um, what it is, is just, it's a moral theory that equates happiness to morality. So um, the, the greater, if you were in a situation or making a decision, the greater happiness you would gain from it, the more moral it would be um, defined as. And the less happiness you would, um, less happiness in the situation, the less moral it would be. And this theory, it's, um, it ha definitely has its upsides, but for the most part, I think it's filled with more negatives and such because there's things that aren't quantified just by happiness that can lead to um, moral wrong wrongdoing. And um, some examples of utilitarianism can be um, a decision like choosing a job, like this is a positive example instead of a negative one, and it would be choosing a job because it makes you happy. So say you wanted to be a firefighter or something, and you were really passionate about being a firefighter and you really enjoyed it and it made you happy, but you didn't get the best pay from it and you had to work a lot of hours, but you still made this decision because um, you used util utilitarianism and it made it produced the greatest happiness for you. So that's a, I think that's a positive use of the theory, but a negative one could be the case study we did um, earlier in the week where the teacher lied to the students about their grades and she inflated their grades um, too high to see if the students would say anything about it and the students didn't and in this situation both of the stakeholders the teacher and the students were in the wrong and um, they came across as immoral because of the teacher um, trying to use utilitarianism to create the greatest happiness for her and her students. Um, objections to uh, utilitarianism. Um, the first one would be you something called utility monster, which is basically a person who gets pleasure out of causing suffering. I think this is the easiest objection to the theory by far, because think of any criminal, such as a murderer, a, someone who steals, um, someone who causes harm to people, a lot of times people that do these things get um, happiness out of doing it and pleasure. So technically by going by the theory of utilitarianism, they would be morally just in um, their own right for doing these things that cause suffering to um, the people that they do them to. And the best response for this one is to make sure you're evaluating all the consequences and also make sure you're correct about the consequences that happen because um, obviously if you commit a crime, a, a victimized crime such as murder or theft, it's going to um, have consequences to the people you do it to and it can come across as really immoral. And the second objection to it is that it doesn't account for um, justice or fairness and um, a way to describe an example for this is say there was someone in court who was an innocent um, defendant but they were put in jail or gave a harsh sentence to make the victim's family happy um, just because it produces them happiness it, the consequences to the defendant would be um, major and very unjust as utilitarianism does not account for fairness or justice. And I believe the best um, response to this one would be to um, rule utilitarianism, which is um, following rules that tend to bring about the best consequences.